display products for use in the shop floor to measure production and productivity. In this video, we're going to show you a tact time display board, a tact time based production display board. So what is tact time? Lean production uses tact time as the rate that a completed product needs to be finished in order to meet customer demand. If you have a tag time of two minutes, that means every two minutes a completed product, assembly or machine is produced off your line. Your tag time could be two seconds, two minutes, two hours, two days or two weeks, no matter. Whatever your selling rate is, that will be your tag time. This board has three parameters to track and display. We call each of these group of LEDs that represent a parameter as a window. Thus, we have the time window, the shift target window, the present or the real-time target window and the present actual window. The time window which is available here is used for entering and editing the tact or the cycle time required as well as the shift details which includes shift times, shift breaks, etc. The tack board will not increment during the shift breaks. Now the time window, we are setting a cycle time of 5 seconds. The shift starts at 8 o'clock. The first break is at 10 o'clock. The tea, tea break ends at 10.10. Lunch break starts at 12.30. Ends at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The second tea break starts at 2.30 in the afternoon and ends at 2.40, a 10 minute break. And the shift ends at 4.30 in the evening. So you've got eight total breaks per shift. Thus this board supports the programming of cycle time for three shifts as well as breaks and the shift timings of three shifts. So you can have a total of three shifts with eight breaks per shift inside this board. And once saved, it retains the details in its memory forever or until you decide to edit the same. So as you can see, the board automatically calculates the shift target on window 1 for the entire shift, it takes the entire time for the shift, deducts the total breaks, divides it by the cycle time given and arrives at the shift target. The present target is of course incremented by the cycle time given for the shift and the present actual is incremented based on a zero potential contact coming from your line. Let me give you an example. We've got about five seconds to go before the shift ends 
And as soon as it is 8 o'clock, the board now resets and recalculates the target for the next shift. It happened that the earlier shift and the current shift had the same shift target. That's why you didn't see a change. It's at 520. Now present target will increment once every 5 seconds, which is the cycle time. And as you see, present actual keeps arriving from the line. Now what you saw in this video was a 4 inch high FND red display. We also have other colors as well as different sizes ranging from 6 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch and 16 inch high characters. Depending on your requirement you could choose the size of the characters as well as the intensity of the LED for either viewing it indoors or outdoors. You could of course configure the board according to the requirement at your place. So we could have plan, target like you see in this board, actual, details of the previous shift and uh, gap which is target minus actual and the efficiency rate which is actual divided by target multiplied by 100. Please log on to our website www.factorydisplay.com or send us an email at sales at factorydisplay.com or kamalko at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video.